A half hour ago, this calf was born at Penn Vets New Bolton Center in Kennett Square, just outside of Philadelphia. During birth, a calf's umbilical cord is torn. This triggers the instinct to first learn to walk and then to nurse. Here, he is able to get his hind legs up easily. Normally, a calf will learn to walk within one hour of birth. It is a difficult task for such a young baby, but he must learn quickly. With no attached umbilical cord, the calf's only access to nutrients is his mother's milk. For cattle not born in captivity, the stakes are even higher. Should a predator attack, the calf must run with the herd to survive. A slow learning calf is an easy meal. This calf is determined to walk, but he's having difficulty getting his front legs up. Finally, he gets up and steadies himself. He will need to practice walking before he can nurse. At the new Bolton Center, this calf gets a lucky break. These students are part of a three-day seminar taken before starting their first year at Penn Vet. They ensure the calf gets enough nutrients for a newborn to stay healthy. Well, I haven't really had much experience with um, food animals. I decided to do this program because I'd never worked with large animals before. This calf is determined to walk, but he's having difficulty getting his front legs up. A half hour ago, this calf was born at Penn Vets New Bolton Center in Kennett Square, just outside of Philadelphia. During birth, a calf's umbilical cord is torn. This triggers the instinct to first learn to walk and then to nurse. Here, he is itty, the stakes are even higher. Should a predator attack, the calf must run with the herd to survive. A slow learning calf is an easy meal. Finally, he gets up and steadies himself. He will need to practice walking before he can nurse. Able to get his hind legs up easily. Normally, a calf will learn to walk within one hour of birth. It is a difficult task for such a young baby, but he must learn quickly. With no attached umbilical cord, the calf's only access to nutrients is his mother's milk. For cattle not born in captivity,